evaluate the limit using algebra and limit laws. We're going to find the limit of the two-sided limit as b approach 36 of 36 minus b all over 6 minus the square root of b. In most cases, when you're dealing with square roots and you can't do a direct substitution, like in this case, if I take 36 and plug it into the square root of b down here, then we'll end up with 6 minus 6 in the denominator and it won't really get us anywhere. So when you have a situation like that and you're dealing with square roots, usually the trick to get this to work is to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate. If you don't remember what the conjugate is, the conjugate is when you take whatever this expression is here, and all you do is you switch the middle sign. And that way you're basically setting up a difference of squares so that the middle term cancels out. So I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by this expression by six plus the square root of b over six plus the square root of b. So we're multiplying by one, so we're not really changing the value of this. However, it's gonna allow us to rearrange it because when I have the difference of squares, which is what we're gonna have here, right? I have a minus and a plus, that means the middle term is gonna drop out when we distribute. So I have six times six, that gives me 36. I have the minus b times the, or the minus square root of b times the plus square root of b. The minus and the plus make it a minus and the square root of b times the square root of b gives me a b. So I'm left with 36 minus b. The middle term is gonna end up canceling out because you'll have the same thing but one plus and one minus, which is why this trick usually works pretty good. So I have 36 minus b. Now I notice that this is the same as this, so I'm not gonna bother foiling uh, because I'll just have to refactor again because this way I can cancel the 36 minus b on the top and the bottom. And what I'm left with is six plus the square root of b. So I'm gonna take the limit as b approaches 36 of six plus the square root of b. Now this is where our limit laws come in. I can break it down into its parts. I can take the limit as b approaches 36 of a constant, which is here, this is six. And when you take the limit of a constant, it's just itself. And then when I take the limit as b approaches 36 of the square root of b, I can plug that in and use direct substitution. So I have, as long as the limit exists for the square root of b as b approaches 36, I can take the limit of b and then take the square root. That's another one of our limit laws. So <clears throat> when I take 36 and plug it in here, I get six, and so my final limit is gonna be 12.